from Ruthless TV and I'm here with one of the tattoo artist legends, Little Mick. How are you going? I'm fine. I'm having a great time. Uh, Little Mick, what did you think about today, the Incatac Tattoo Convention? Um, I thought it was great. We've got a lot of international artists here, uh, you know, from America, Germany, England, all doing different styles, so it's been great to see. And um, I've been helping with the judging, and we've been judging that in a, a different format. It's been great. It's sort of um, sped things up, but it's also shown uh, a way that uh, the contestants see their work is appreciated in every stage of the judging, and it's uh, been a learning curve for all of us. It's been a great convention so far. I heard you say last night that they did do a, a little bit different way of judging at the end, giving the trophies out. Well, what they're doing now, that we're, we're um, picking nine people, then we're stepping down that way. So at least those nine people know they've got good work and the judges appreciate it. Whereas before, no one was saying anything. It was two or three people in the end of the day. And I think it's nice for um, all that work to get rewarded in some way at the, during, during the day. So back when you first started, did you actually do an apprenticeship or were you self-taught? No, I uh, actually learned in Phoenix, Arizona and um, then I came back here and started tattooing as well. But I, I, I learned off a guy called um, JC Germo in, uh, in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, who was uh, luckily enough uh, very uh, smart in the, uh, in the way of um, health, sterilisation, needle making, colour making, machine making. So I, I, I um, really learned from the right guy. I just lucked out, I guess. Yeah. So uh, how many years have you been telling for now? Is it about 34 years? Yeah, about 34 years, yeah. So when you were in Australia, did you just like open your own shop up or did you start with someone? No, I started working in high energy in the, in the Fortitude Valley, which was sort of Brisbane's red light area at the time. So it was a small studio um, and we had like a, a brothel upstairs, strip club on either side, um, illegal casinos, you know, it was a real hub of, uh, uh, <laughs> hub of Brisbane at the time and uh, tattoo shops fit straight in there. So when did you start actually airbrushing? I was airbrushing when I, from the time I was 14. So I was doing um, commercial art before I was a tattooist. And um, when I went to America, they saw that I could draw and everything. That's why the guy offered me an apprenticeship straight away. And I, was, I just really lucked up, I lucked out. I, I, I was already pretty heavily tattooed by Pete Davidson and a lot of guys from the Valley. And uh, I just thought it was a natural progression to be a tattooist from an artist. So how does it feel? I believe your son Alex has started his tattooing apprenticeship with you. How's that all going? Um, early days yet, so he's learning. I'm going to. He's going to learn the right way. So he's running the. He's doing the bookings and running the shops at the moment, and and doing his drawing. And um, I'm just going to teach him the same way I did. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, and um, we'll see you out there again. Thank you. Step over here without me.